My name is Mike Batty. I'm a professor at UCL in CASA, uh, and I'm going to talk to you about digital twins. Um, I'm talking about multiple models and how we begin to think about uh, models as being twins of the real system. So uh, let me share my screen to begin with, um, and we'll begin. Okay, so digital twins, urban analytics, and multiple models. I'm going to really talk about um, what are digital twins. Uh, it's an idea whose time has come to some extent. It's very evocative of uh, the nature of, of, of building a model close to the real system in this sense. So I want to really talk about where, what they are and where do they come from, and also begin with the strict definition of a digital twin. It's a digital model that's as close as possible to the real thing. And of course, in a sense, the closer it gets, it ultimately merges with the real thing. And of course, at that point, it is no longer a model. Uh, but another key feature of this is that the digital twin is a model that shares information with the real thing. There is a transfer of information. That's quite important because many of our models are not that in a sense, or at least they transfer information only in the most indirect sense. Uh, and how do we factor the human into the loop? Because to some extent, the whole idea of a twin being close to the real thing is broken apart as soon as we introduce ourselves into this particular loop. And that leads to the notion that there are multiple models, more than one twin in this sense. And the key issue is, uh, in this sense, is how do we integrate them? So let me begin by uh, showing you a great little uh, cartoon from Gordon Pask. He was a, a, cyber, a cybernetics guy in the 1950s and 60s, wrote a uh, book uh, to cybernetics, and this is his model of the digital twin. Uh, just think about that in a sense. We have the human in the loop here, uh, watching the digital twin, which is wired up to some extent to the real system itself. He calls the real system a black box. It's basically a traffic system in a sense. So think about that as being uh, the kind of thing we're talking about in terms of a digital twin. Let me extract from this and identify the real system. That's in the past case, the traffic system, and then the digital twin, which is the uh, the sensing of what's going on in that sense and the model of it in a sense. Uh, and of course, we have this process of tuning the digital twin to the real system, the models of the system, etc. So that's the process of extracting data uh, and validating it against the same thing, different points in time, different places. And then we ourselves are in the loop, basically, uh, and uh, influence this whole process of modeling in some sense. And then related to that is the notion that may be more than one model, more more than one twin, and this actually begins to break apart the language of digital twins in that sense, digital triplets, quadruplets, and so on in this sense. So more than one model. And of course, the key question is how do we integrate them, that there are always multiple models and multiple ways of integration. Uh, many models are the same phenomena at the same place. That's what we're actually pondering in our group at CASA. We're all focused on one place. Uh, and we have at least four models. And the place in question is the Olympic Park in East London. Um, that's a very hot area of, um, uh, of development, generally speaking. The, uh, the, the Olympic Stadium is the West Ham football ground and so on. Uh, and we have a variety of uh, uh, major retailing and entertainment in that area and amenity. We have four models. Uh, a 3D VR model, and I'm going to show you these very briefly, uh, just some pictures of them to show you uh, what we're talking about in terms of integration. We have a land use transport model of London. We have several of London, basically, but we have our quant model, which is funded by Turing. I have a building uh, information model uh, of here East, which is the building on the site. Uh, and finally, uh, last but not least, a model of transit, which incorporates public transport services, uh, of which um, the major development in this uh, East London area is the uh, is the construction of Crossrail, basically, which is opening very soon. OK, there are, there are more models. We've got retailing models and so on. And the key issue about integrating them, we need to integrate them from a planning point of view. Um, everything influences everything else directly or indirectly in this context. Uh, and therefore, the inputs to our models are also the outputs of the other models in some senses. So there are good arguments about building good models through integration in that sense, as well as actually thinking about integrated development. And all the skills are contained in our uh, team of people who uh, come together to have a look at this. So this is our location. This is um, uh, East London, basically, the Lee Valley. 
Uh, and you can see the, um, the Here East building, I'll come on to that in a moment, the Olympic Stadium and the Westfield Shopping Centre. Uh, those are census tracts, basically, or uh, MSOAs and so on, uh, in a sense, giving you an idea of the location. Here's our first model, the 3D London model, which Andy Hudson-Smith has developed uh, with funding from the Future Cities Catapult. Uh, and you can see that this is a... This is a virtual model within a virtual space. It's within Unity, basically. And a whole variety of media are being integrated in this model. It's primarily visualization, but generally speaking, it's a bit more than that because to some extent, the visualization is related to uh, the location of real-time real -time data. Here's our building information model of the Here East building. That's the building in the top left. And you can see that we're wiring the building in various ways by, sen by building sensors. We don't have a building information model in place when the building was constructed, in a sense. Uh, so we're, we're uh, doing one after the fact, so to speak. And you can see the software, the pictures of the various software that really relates to monitoring primarily energy as well as movement within the building structure itself, in that sense. Um, our third model is the transit model of Crossrail, in that sense. And this is uh, these are pictures of Crossrail, basically, from our one of our land use transport models, but the primary, primary project uh, really relates to uh, transportation on, 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 the, on, on the tube, which originally was uh, developed by John Reed, whose pictures in the, in the bottom right. Uh, last but not least is our land use transport model, Quant, which is funded in fact by Turing uh, at the present time. And uh, you can see various images uh, relating to the location there. And the big question is, how do we integrate all of these? Um, I'm going to stop at that point. Um, I've written a number of editorials in EMPB, as a number of people know, um, about this matter in some sense. Uh, and we do have a paper which is beginning to probe how we integrate these, which is coming out in a book uh, edited by various people, including Jennifer Schooling, called Digital Twins for Smart Cities. And at that point, I will finish. Thank you.